guys, there's like 30 minutes until Vlogmas. And I should have been asleep hours ago. But I'm so freaking excited. I can't sleep. I have to go to work tomorrow. I have to be up in like five and a half hours. I could not sleep. Because I'm so excited. Okay, reading makes me tired, so I'm gonna find a new non-fiction book that I can read. So I read the whole prologue of this little um, advent calendar. Basically, I've gone skiing by myself because all my friends didn't want to miss Christmas stuff. And I was like, Psh, whatever, I'm going skiing. Um, all of a sudden, like, I don't really know if I'm headed in the right direction because there's like metal poles that like look different than other markers. I've never skied, but I understand this to be true. Um, and then all of a sudden I hear a rumbling and there is basically an avalanche. So I find this little, like, little hole sort of a thing and I kind of dive into it. Turns out I'm, like, in a cave and, um, it looks like other people have been there. There's, like, snow and ice sculptures, <laughs> like, of animals and stuff. And I found, like, a carabiner and a rope and some other stuff and a staircase. And now I'm to day one, which is probably the only day I'll read just because I don't want there to be spoilers if anyone else decides to do this a different year. So 1st of December, you walk up the last steps of the stone staircase, pressed up against the wall, you peer into the room in front of you. The cave glimmers with a ghostly blue light. You wait for a second, but since you hear nothing, you venture further. Behind you, a stack of nailed shut wooden boxes, you spot a large metal grate, an exit. You immediately hurry towards it, but after a good shake, you can tell it will not open easily. Then you discover a strong looking lock. You focus your torch on the lock. Your torch is your cell phone, by the way, just so you're not too dramatic. You focus your torch on the lock for a closer look. It is a combination lock, but what code opens it? 
There's also a small piece of paper caught in the lock, which of course you read through immediately. I mean, you are without a book, so. At first, you don't know what to do with a strange clue. You let your eyes wander. Next to the boxes, there are all kinds of other things strewn around. You actually find some matches that you use to light a few candles. Not really sure where you got the candles. Sounds like they were just on the floor randomly. Quite helpful, quite helpful. You can now put your phone away again. You look at the other objects that are lying around the supposed warehouse. Several of the objects look relatively usable and could be of help to you. And of course, the mysterious artist also left a few ice sculptures behind. Especially striking is a gigantic ice swan perched in an alcove. You take another look at the clue on the mysterious note. Is there anything else on here that will help you determine the correct number code? Now open door one. Okay. Okay, I actually needed to look at the clues, which didn't help very, very much, and finally the solution, which helped me a whole lot. But I wish that I had been given, I guess, more direction as far as how to use everything, perhaps, because basically I thought that each of the little cubbies in the advent calendar were literally just for you to get supplies out of and then you were done with them for the day and like slight spoiler that is not the case like you might actually need to inspect the holes like there might be stuff to look at inside the hole other than just objects uh so that was something i learned today that you should be very careful about what is on and in the cubbies. So anyway, I still am thinking this is super fun and I guess now I understand a little bit more about how to look for clues. So, yeah. All right guys, I am off to work, but I do have to wear a mask. Basically the rules in the US, if you are curious, is you have to stay home for five days. And then after that, you have to wear a mask for five days or my plan which is the other alternative and that's after um two negative lateral flow tests that are within 48 hours of each other so i have yet to have a negative one yet so basically i have to wear a mask at least until sunday but um yeah i'll just see hello i just got back from work all day i wore a mask and was breathing on my own face and I swore I would not do this, open my mail on camera again this year because I would have far superior content, loads of quality content coming. However, I have good mail today, so we're going to do it anyway. So the first thing, I got my Shutterfly order. Um, this, I think, is my ornament. Yep. Okay, so... Here's the deal, my tree behind me. Um, if you want to see them, maybe I'll show them in one of these videos, but basically every year I think of my favorite memory, one memory that kind of defines that year um, or defines a way that I have grown in that year. And for this year, oops, this one actually has a little, da um, a little thing of damage on there, but anyway, um, I went backpacking for the first time ever. So this is my ornament that represents this year. I'm gonna add it to my tree. And then I also got another one this year um, because I also wanted to do one for my nephew every single year, just adding one of him on the tree. However, this one I am not gonna open just because I'm not putting my nephew on YouTube anymore. But I might post a picture of this ornament on Instagram 
just not on YouTube. So if you want to see what my ornament of him looks like, you can check out Instagram. And then I got a bunch of other packages. But yeah, I'm curious, like, what do you guys have for traditions? Do you guys have any cool ornament sort of traditions or certain things you collect? Okay, book mail. I got A Tree Grows in Brooklyn because my copy of it, when I actually opened it up, it is way too tiny print. I can't, okay? So I got that. Then I got the trees because loads of people said this is amazing and I haven't read it yet. Okay, so there's that. I need to start a trash pile. Oh gosh. Okay, and then what even is this? Oh, then I got the perfect piece for Dee Dee's Book Club. This one is our March pick. Not formally announced yet. So, so sorry if that was a spoiler for you, but it will be. And then I am reading this beast this month and I need to read about 30 pages today. This is the only way I will get done with this because I'm so intimidated by this. Basically, Alicia um, was so thoughtful to include me in this. Dee Dee is also doing it. Anna, I don't really remember who else, but like a few of us from the Brown Girl Reading Book Club are doing like a buddy read, a group read of this during the month of um, December. We're going to try and finish before Christmas. So that is that. And then I have another box, which this might be boring. So if it's boring, I'll just stop the video here. Like, I don't remember what it could be. Oh, yes. It is boring. Basically. Well, first of all, it's a gift for my um, student teacher who will be leaving in a hot second. And I'm very sad about it. And then the other thing, basically, I had COVID. I wanted to thoroughly wash all my sheets. So I also took off the mattress cover, put that in the wash, but the whole thing like disintegrated. So um, I needed to buy a new one. So that is kind of a boring adultish uh, sort of purchase. And also a new TV remote because I put it in my bedroom and I like to use the sleep option and my previous remote was not working and there's no way to use a sleep option without a remote. So that is what I bought. Welcome to my bedroom. This is the last part of this video, but we need to have a bit of a chat about reading plans and my camera is totally not even straight. Okay, that's a bit better. So um, one of the exciting things about this part of the year is just kind of making plans for what you want next year to look like. And a huge part of that is coming up soon, and that is all of your favorite videos. Like, I love watching what my friends have read and loved over the course of the past year, and what I already own from their top lists that I can pull from my shelves and try and prioritize the next year. And that is coming up. I want to talk talk about and highlight a few people who um, basically I have gone through their lists from previous years. I've pulled everything I own that they have thought is like their ultimate favorite. And I'm going to talk about that. But today I want to talk about the NPR book concierge. So if I went back and I looked at all the years, I'm sure I could just find mountains and mountains of books that I own that are on that list. But I basically looked at this year's list and I pulled what is on the list that I already own and might need to prioritize. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. So the first one is Mercury Presents, Mercury Pictures Presents by Anthony Mara. Anthony Mara, I met him in real life. He is the most beautiful human. So, We'll see if this one is good. I actually have not heard too many things about this one. Um, however, his last book I loved so, so much. Then Olga Dies Dreaming is another one that was on NPR's Book Concierge. They have since changed the name, but I think that concierge is one of the like best words you could ever say. It sounds so fun. Demon Copperhead by Barbara King Oliver, who has some sort of a hand condition where she can't sign books that often anymore. She doesn't want to spend her time doing loads and loads of book signings. 
So mine came with a recipe instead. It does have meat in it, but maybe I will make it sometime without the meat because I don't do that sort of thing. Then Less is Lost by Andrew Sean Greer. I read his other one. It was fine. I didn't really like it that much. But anyway, this one is signed. Actually, sorry, rewind. This is signed. This is signed. And this is signed. All from my Parnassus First Edition Book Club. So it appears that they are doing a pretty good job picking. This one is also signed. I have not heard a lot of people um, talking about this one. I started it and I really liked it. It's a book of short stories. If I Survive You by Jonathan Escoffrey. And so far, just absolutely amazing. But I don't know, the thing with short stories is it's easy to put down because each story is separate. And so I started it right away and then just lost track of it. That one is signed. <clears throat> Take My Hand by Dolan Perkins Valdez. I have a few books by her because I've heard amazing things. The Candy House by Jennifer Egan. My favorite book of Jennifer Egan is actually Manhattan Beach, I believe it's called. Um, I have not read this one yet. This is signed. And I have not read A Visit from the Goon Squad, which is also signed. And actually, Manhattan Beach is also signed as well. Um, but I think that maybe I should read Goon Squad before this one. Not too sure. If you have read both of them, just let me know. Like, I know they have similar universe, but would it help me to read the other one first? Okay. Then another signed one. Thank you, Mr. Nixon by Gish Jen. Bodywork by Melissa Phoebos. And another signed one. I'm obsessed with this author. I don't know why I haven't gotten to this book yet. She mailed me a postcard to my apartment with her last book, Personalized Handwritten Postcard, Bomb Shelter by Mary Laura Philpott. This one needs to be at the top of the list because I love her so freaking much. But anyway, those are ones from the NPR book concierge that I would like to get to in the next year. And I will probably do a journal bullet sort of um, spread about it, but I haven't done that yet. I was doing loads of crafting when I was home with COVID. I still have COVID, but as you know, cause you watched my morning testing thing, but um, I haven't made a spread for that one yet. So anyway, I hope you guys are loving Vlogmas so, so much. I've watched a few videos already today when I was eating dinner and I loved them. And it just brings me so much joy to watch your videos. So please let me know. If I haven't commented on one of your videos and you are making Vlogmas videos, let me know in the comments so I can check you out. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day tomorrow. Bye.